This is a paper about towards the simpler lattice gauge toolkit. This is a joint work with Yang Yu. I am Stu Zhang. Let's start some background. Lattice-based cryptography is a promising post-quantum alternative. Based on lattice, we can build not only practical efficient encryption and signatures, but also very powerful advanced cryptographic primitives, ranging from FEG, AB, and more. Basic lattice encryption and signatures had been closing to TLS ready. But once the lattice schemes still need implementations and evaluations. Many advanced lattice crypto systems rely on strong lattice tripdoors. RGTS function is defined by the metric A, that short and fight with uniform entries module Q. And the domain X is a set of short integer vectors with small entries. In stock 19.6, RGTI proved that if this is hard, the function FA is hard to invert. But with the chip door, the function is easy to invert. In the early result, it generated the short lattice species T as a chip door. However, the deterministic process of inversion leaks the information about chip door, leading to learning attacks. Then in the GPV framework, the inverting of FA is not a deterministic process, but a random Gaussian sampling. And the sampled preimage is independent of T, so there is no triple leakage. Later, the packet framework proposed a new structure, and T is no longer the lattice basis. With the help of T, the problem of inverting a random function FA is transformed to the problem of inverting the same type of the function FG. But for specific, carefully designed gauge metric G, with automated much simpler and faster inversing algorithms. Currently, this is the state-of-the-art lattice triple framework. The G metric is a block diagonal metric. The diagonal block is vector G. The corresponding gauge lattice has a good basis S. For the power B modulus, the metric is a lower bidiagonal metric. And for the arbitrary modulus, the metric has other no zero entries in the last column compared with before. Thanks to the good structure of the sort basis of gauge lattice, the inverting of G is simple and fast. Gauge is widely used in lattice schemes. There are four associated algorithms. The most simple one is the digital decomposition, which is typically used in BV and BFV FHE. The second algorithm is RW inversion. It's typically used in RW encryptions. The first two are all deterministic algorithms. They are also to randomize the algorithms. The first algorithm is Gaussian sampling. It is used to sample a primage FG from discrete Gaussian and is typically used in essential package chip door framework. Then the sub Gaussian sampling is sampling a preimage of FG from a related version of the Gaussian. It's a sub Gaussian, which is easier to sample. It's typically used in GSW FEG scheme and in lattice-based ABE. Our main research is on these two randomized gauge algorithms. So, before I talk about our contribution, I'm going to go over the previous gauge algorithms. The first gauge lattice algorithm was given in MP12. And there, they gave a discrete Gaussian simpler with linear time in space only for power B modules. For arbitrary modules, the algorithms need a quadratic complexity. Then, Genius Missential came up with a way to simple with linear time for arbitrary modules, but need using floating point arithmetic and is more completed than the special algorithm for power B modules in MP12. 
As for the Git sub Gaussian sampling, Genius Misenso Poik's work gave a sub Gaussian sampling with linear time for arbitrary modulus. For the modulus of power b, they call the key log b random bits, but for arbitrary modulus, they call the key squared log b random bits. And the algorithm for arbitrary modulus is more completed than the one for power b modulus. So, there existed some gaps between the gauge algorithms. To close these gaps is not only of theoretical interest, but also crucial for practical applications. In fact, for better performance, many lattice-based systems use the ring structure. For future speed-up in the ring structure, they often chose prime modulus supporting NGT. In addition, many advanced lattice-based crypt systems, the size of the queue is usually quite large, such as larger than 100 bits. And to be compact with the architecture, we usually apply some CRT modulus. And in these cases, Q cannot be power OB. So we need an algorithm for this. Towards better compatibility of gauge toolkit, we present two randomized gauge algorithms for arbitrary moduli. We present a gauge Gaussian simpler that avoids the floating point arithmetic in existing algorithms. Compared with the previous algorithms, our simpler achieves same quality and asymptotic complexity, but is simpler and highly parallelizable. We also propose a new gauge sub Gaussian simpler. It's simpler, faster, and needs asymptotically less randomness. In addition, our simpler is convenient to cut a close, even better quality in practice. First, we will show our new gauge Gaussian simpler. The discrete Gaussian is an important probability distribution in lattice. It usually has three parameters, the lattice L, the central C, and the positive defined covariance metric sigma. For discrete Gaussian, the probability of each lattice point is the proportion to the value of the Gaussian function. In particular, when the sigma is a scalar metric, we call the discrete Gaussian spherical. The parameter s is the suite of the Gaussian. Moreover, the smaller s means the higher quality of the Gaussian simpler. With a good lattice space s, we can efficient simple from the discrete Gaussian. They are two widely used simplers, clean GPV simpler and packet simpler. The packet simpler is more efficient and widely used in MP chip door. It consists of two steps. The offline phrase, simple a perturbation vector of covariance sigma p. The online phrase is an easy simpling over integer. Our main idea is using packet approach to improve simplicity and efficiency. We also use integer metric factorization to avoid the floating point arithmetic. We use the ASIM metric factorization shown in Genius Essential Aching. So our algorithm follows the same step with the, but we implement the step one perturbation sampling differently. In GMH, the float point arithmetic comes from perturbation sampling. They use the Kolaski decomposition and sometimes using continue Gaussian sampling in the implementation. To avoid floating point arithmetic, we employ the this integral metric decomposition with A and G. The metric G is diagonal. With such an integral decomposition, the perturbation sampling can be done by applying a linear transformation of A on the discrete Gaussian. This is simple, fast, and highly parallelizable. The idea is inspired by the work of Dukas, Galbraith, Prest, and Yu. But a technical difference is that 
The middle metric G is the diagonal, but not identity metric, which allowed to reduce the size of A. That is only K plus two columns, much smaller than the size of the grim root given in DGPY20. This compact metric greatly improves the sampling efficiency. So as for comparison with genius essential, I will simpler achieve the same quality with the genius essential one. And the genius essential heavily used floats. I've only used integers which has better compatibility to constraint devices. In addition, we have storage advantage. As the efficiency, both genius, essential, simpler, and ours runs in linear times. We implemented our new simpler and compared with the implementation of the genius, essential, simpler in the Palisade library. This figure shows that basically our algorithms is as fast as the genius, essential, simpler implemented in Palisade. So next, we introduce our gauge sub Gaussian simpler. As one would expect, a random value variable x over r is sub Gaussian with parameter alpha if its tail is bounded by the Gaussian of the width alpha. This is the example of sub Gaussian. We also use sub Gaussian vectors. This is the definition of it. sub Gaussian is a relaxed version of a Gaussian. An important property of sub Gaussian is Pascal activity. This is similar to a Gaussian convolution, leading to a slow error growth. While simply sub Gaussian is easier than simply Gaussian. Genius Misenso Poikov is a sub Gaussian analog to existing gauge. Gaussian simpler, essential packet 12, genius essential 18. Specifically, for the case of the power B modulus, GMP 19 runs sub Gaussian by bias nearest plane on basis S. These algorithms achieve sub Gaussian parameter B minus 1 square root of 2 pi with k log B random bits. For the arbitrary modulus, it, it performs a sub Gaussian by bias nearest plane algorithms on T and uh, applies a linear transform of T to lift the solution to gauge lattice. Here, S is equal to T times D, as in GM18. In the end, this algorithm requires k squared log B random bits and achieves the sub Gaussian parameter at most. Uh, b plus 1 square root of 2 pi. Our gauge sub Gaussian sampling is very different from the GMP19. Our idea is to convert the sampling for arbitrary moduli into the easy and fast simpler for power of b moduli. There is a simple fact that for a short x, if the inner product of x and g is equal to u mod q power k powers of b. The inner product of x and g is in the set of u and u minus b to the k. So, if the inner product of our simpler output x and g is equal to u modular q, we also limit it in the set of u and u minus q. Notably, the value of u and u minus q basically determines the most significant digit x sub k minus 1. So, our simpler proceeds in these three steps. First, we chose u prime according to the proper probability. Then, we simple a sub Gaussian x prime with the simpler for q equal b to the k minus 1 given u prime. Finally, we determine the last coefficient x k minus 1 as per u and x prime. Let's talk 
some details about our sampler. These are the probabilities of selecting branches in the first step. Our algorithm requires less than 2 kb random bits. It consisted of log q random bits for determining branch in step 1 and uh, k minus 1 log b random bits for sampling x prime. This is the sub Gaussian parameter achieved by our new sampler, and this can be proved by the holder inequality. So, next is the comparison with our sampler and uh, Genium Essential Park form. The GMP algorithms use the k squared log b random bit, which was claimed to be almost optimal in their paper. In fact, our algorithms only need k log b random bits. Notably, our algorithm for arbitrary modules needs an asymptotically same amount of randomness with the one for parallel b modules. We therefore believe that it is essentially optimal in randomness requirement. And our simpler is simple and doesn't need a complicated metric. So we didn't need extra storage and it's easier for implementation and further optimizations. Our algorithms achieved close even better quality for practical payment. In the worst case, our payment is about a square root of two larger than GMP parameter, but when the base is 2, which is common used, our parameter is square root of 10 pi, which is smaller than GMP1. And for the large b, there exist many NGT modulus q such that our parameter is similar to GMP1. More important, our simpler is practically fast. It can be seen in the picture that our sub Gaussian simpler is greatly faster than the genius Misenso Park improvement in Palisade Library. Precisely, our algorithm is about 1.3 to 3.2 times faster than the Palisade implementation of the genius Misenso Park algorithm. All in all, uh, we proposed two new gauge algorithms that have some advantage from both implementation and the theoretical standpoint. Our gauge Gaussian simpler gets rid of the reliance on high precision arithmetic while keeping a good efficiency and quality. And our gauge sub Gaussian simpler is simpler, faster, and need asymptotically less randomness compared with the previous result. Thank you for listening to my presentation.